She might not look it now, but Jess the Springer Spaniel is a victim of the pandemic. She's been stolen twice, probably for breeding. How are you? Hey, she's good, yeah. The pandemic has driven up the price of puppies. So many of us want a COVID companion. The male dogs get dumped and any unspayed female dogs get kept. Everybody wants a puppy in lockdown and people are being less and less careful about where they buy them from. The family's other dog, Tig, is still in the hands of her thieves. They've demanded a ransom. Not only were they trying to get money out of me, they were ringing up, they were getting little children to ring me up and the adults were coaching them in the background to play with my emotions and get me in a more highly stressed state, which was really despicable. This sounds think. like organised crime. It is organised crime. There's no two ways about it. Police say dog theft has become hugely lucrative for crime gangs. In the pandemic, the price of some puppies has quadrupled to more than £2,000. Organised crime groups adapt their crime to any markets, and this is a market that's grown, the demand's grown, so I think they see it as an opportunity to make money. Um, so, so that's where there's been a, an increase in the theft of dogs. Campaigners insist dog thieves are treated too leniently. Under the law, a pet is treated as property. They're not classed as animals, and therefore the penalty for stealing a dog is exactly the same as stealing your mobile phone. It's just seen as a petty crime. There's nothing petty about stealing a, a person's loved pet. It's three months since Tig was stolen. What do you think is happening to her now? I think, unfortunately, Tig, like a lot of female dogs, has been taken so that she can be bred for puppies. And the horrible thing about that is that they don't get proper veterinary care they don't look after these dogs. They rinse them for as many litters of puppies as they can because all they see them is as pound signs. The government said it was concerned at a rise in pet theft and took the issue very seriously. It understood the pain and distress it caused. Martin Brunt, Sky News, South London.